So I'm just lightening this corner up a little bit so that we'll have like a little bit of a fade. It gives it more, since there's light on the top, hopefully it create a little bit of a natural glow. And this is the fun part where, um, so I've been painting probably for about a week and a half with all the tape, with this tape on. So at this point, I don't know if everything will match up. I really hope it will, but this is where I find out <laughs> what, what we're going for, what it's gonna look like. Usually I'll have a little, um, a little bit, bits and pieces that I have to clean up afterwards. But it does feel like these lines are coming out pretty clean, so I'll have minimum cleanup after. But yeah, so far, like even these little creases, it's they lined up pretty well, so um, it'll be easy to blend everything. And when I first started out, I, I every painting I kind of learn a little something. But I was using drawer liner, this clear drawer liner as my tape initially. Um, which actually was a little cool because I was able to see through it. And this tape that I'm using is a low adhesive tape. So um, I could be kind of rough with it and actually doesn't mark any of my painting below it. See, even that, that belly button lined up pretty well. Sometimes when I take the tape off, there'll be a line that really didn't line up and I have to do a little bit of touch up after. This is a combination of three elements. There's the nude image, as you can see, and it says porn in kind of the overall shape, and then contained within that is this word art. And it, it addresses that overlap of um, the female form, especially, uh, well, nude female form, being either considered art or nude, I mean, art or porn, and where that line is drawn and who gets to decide because um, it's very elusive and not all people see the same thing. Some people will see a nude female form and see pornography and some people see it and celebrate it as art. So um, that's what a lot of my work deals with is the overlap between um, even classical art and uh, maybe in certain people's eyes, some of those forms can be seen as porn pornographic. Um, I, I've mentioned before that during the 16th century, Roman Catholic sweep 
they altered a lot of artworks and actually covered um, old paintings by painting little fig leaves over the, the nude parts or um, even going as far as breaking off the genitals of statues and getting and replacing them with a fig leaf. And I've actually heard that there is a drawer somewhere in the Vatican um, full of disembodied dicks that don't have, <laughs> they don't know where the statue came, you know, they belong to. So um, that kind of stuff is a focus in a lot of my art.